Hello Aries, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. Just make sure you're in the picture there. And let's get down to it. We're going to use the Dragon Tarot for your reading. Um, if the reading doesn't feel like your story, then it most likely isn't. Don't try to make it fit. Oh, we have the King of Wands jumping out. Nice energy. All right, let's see where you're going this week. very nice you got the wheel of fortune coming straight up so it looks like this week is about really sort of going with the flow this is not about fighting the energies it's not about fighting against something it's definitely about just easing into the week here so very much this energy that the universe is going to be moving you in a direction this week rather than you forcing something yourself um, the wheel of fortune can talk about completing a karmic cycle it can talk about it is a 10 so it can talk about some sort of ending coming around but definitely this feeling here of just sort of going with the flow yeah temperance definitely so the temperance card is an energy of balance it talks about finding balance in your life this can be balance in your day-to-day -day life it can be balance around work life it can be balance around head heart whatever it is for you but the energy here again is about keeping a balance going with the flow and just sort of you no know, just sort of moving with the tile oh, that's why okay so you have three major arcana coming through here Aries. so i feel like something big is coming around for you this week and the universe is sort of talking here about you conserving energy especially if this tower is about to come in so the tower energy can sometimes talk about breaking down old ways of being or doing things and rebuilding now because you have the wheel of fortune there and the temperance card i'm feeling like there is some sort of great change coming through which is going to help you see things in a very different perspective. So what I want to say, especially with the tower now, is it looks like you may be completing a cycle, which means that some way that you've done things, some way that you've thought about things, or some way that you've seen things in your life is about to come to an end. Um, now it could be with the karmic wheel that you are finishing out something, like a job, a relationship, um, but some sort of situation here and with the tower you'll be required to start again but this time you will build differently so for example if you lost a job that was very toxic this time you'll be looking for a job that isn't toxic um, if you had a relationship that didn't work out for some way shape or reason this week you will be looking at how did I do that what did I learn from that and how can I make sure in future I don't make the same mistakes again but there's definitely a rebuilding here yeah, so you've got some sort of change of direction. I'm thinking here with the Four of Swords, there's a need for you to take time out. There's a change of direction being offered to you here. So you may find yourself moving in a new direction as a result of this tower. So, for example, if it is a job, you may be deciding to work in a different sector. If it's a relationship, you may decide that you want a different kind of relationship moving forward. Whatever it is for you, it is going to require you to take some time out here. Um, because we do have the nine of pentacles I feel like it's a breakdown in a relationship now I see the nine of pentacles but it's also the energy of leaving something behind feeling very comfortable in your own skin maybe you know at the moment you don't need to go and look for another job because you're quite comfortably well off so maybe you're just thinking about maybe taking time out at the moment and having a bit of a break rebuilding yourself maybe you know for some of you you may be in a position where you're having to move house for whatever reason all right so we have the empress coming through here and i just feel like here maybe there's been a shock for you maybe you found out about a pregnancy that you didn't expect um, the empress though is about rebuilding so she is about birthing something new setting off into the world with a very different idea of how you want things to be now so the empress is the energy of rebuilding of birthing something new starting something new all right so we have the queen of wands coming through oh wow that's beautiful with the ten of cups you're going to do it much better the next time around because you have some sort of truth here 
All right. So I feel like whatever it is in your life that is is finishing up and allowing you to start again, maybe just a matter of you understanding that perhaps you've been in a lot of self-denial in the past. Maybe you haven't really been true to who you are. So you may have found yourself in a very toxic relationship or a job because you've never spoken up for yourself or never been able to clearly articulate what you want in your life. And I see the energy of the Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. And I think this time around, you're going to do things very, very differently. Whether that is a relationship, whether it is a job, it doesn't matter. You are going to really put yourself first out now here with the Empress card. So this is about you understanding that you have this beautiful value here. And you know the truth of who you are. And you're now standing in this sort of energy of the Queen of Wands going after your Ten of Cups. All right. We have the Page of Wands coming through. Beautiful. With the King of Pentacles. I think you're going after a new person. Five of Wands. Maybe the energy that we're seeing is past energy here. Because we have the Two of Cups. I thought so. I feel like you're going after some sort of romance here. That's the World card. Wow. With the Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles coming through. So what I want to say to you here is I feel that either for some of you, you may have already another relationship on your doorstep, another job really close, another energy of what you've given away. It's like you already have something in your sights here. Now, for many of you, there's already another relationship starting to take form. So I'm wondering if you've given one thing away because you've got your eyes set on something new here that you want to nurture, especially with that Empress energy there. It's like you're ready to birth something new with someone new and you've closed out a door on something else so that you can move forward. I feel like you're looking at this person as being the person that perhaps you want to build with, especially with this Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. Um, there's very much this energy of wanting to start something new, but to do it differently this time. Now, there may be some of you where a relationship has broken down, but you want to rebuild that particular relationship. So it's sort of like it didn't work the first time around. How am I going to make it work the next time around? And I feel like you're approaching it here with this Ace of Swords in a very different way. Because this time you're coming in and talking about what do I want? Where do I see this going? What exactly do I want from this situation? Let's get some clarity. So there's been some sort of karmic wheel that's closed out here. Some sort of karmic turn of the wheel. So it's completed something. You're being asked to stand in your temperance energy, which means keeping balance because a tower is coming here. And it's going to take you in a brand new direction. I feel like you need to conserve energy here, but you're coming up as the Nine of Pentacles. So it's like you are really invested, especially with this Ace of Swords, like you're really deciding here to, um, to go after what you want, but this time to do it in a way that's true to what you want. So maybe you've been in a relationship where you were doing all the giving. Maybe you were with someone who was very demanding. Maybe you didn't stick up for yourself, but it's like this time around, you're going to make sure that you do things from your own perspective. I like it. It's like you're stepping into your power with the Empress energy. Like you're really starting to understand here, you know, your own value, which is really good. But what I feel like here, for some of you, you're either going back to invest in a situation that didn't work the first time around, or you're going back to invest in a new situation, knowing that what you learned in the last one is going to help you see what you want in this one. So let's see if we can get some clarity. All right, I have the Eight of Swords being followed by the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer here. And the Six of Swords, wow, and the Magician. I love it. Okay, so what I see here is I see you moving away from one situation. I feel that you have already been planning to move towards something new. But when I see the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords, I feel there is a strong need for you to get out of your head and make some decisions to move yourself in the right direction. The ma magician tells me that you have been trying to manifest something new and I can see something new here with this Two of Cups. Could be a person who um, you are moving towards here with the chariot. But you're moving away from something here that has held you back. So maybe you've made a decision to leave one romance behind. We have the Queen of Swords here um, with the devil energy. 
and the three of cups yeah i feel like you might have been in a third party situation some of you may have been in a situation here where you had to make a decision between two people but i really feel that you're leaving something behind here to rebuild with somebody new it could be a capricorn could be a uh, an air sign libra gemini aquarius but there's third party energy here so either you have been in a relationship and you've had a love interest here that you want to move towards um, or you're leaving somebody here out in the cold to travel towards this person. But there's sort of a really strong energy here that you've manifested something new. Page of Swords. Okay. Four of Pentacles, yeah, you've let go. Ten of Pentacles. You've let go of an energy here so that you can go after something new. Very much so. Really interesting energy. And I'm going to do the same for you as what I did with one of the other readings because I want to see where you and your person are up to in terms of your energies. So let's have a look and see what's going on there. All right, so I'll pull one card for you. And one card for the person that you are moving toward here. So for you, I have the golden egg. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, you are really ready to have what you want. This is about you really understanding how to move forward. Um, you've got a completely different approach here. Ah, uh, here we are. Fourth chakra here. This is message at the centre of the heart and the unstruck sound. So this is your energy. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet and a time to unfold. No rushing, pushing or grasping. Find a deep place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga nidra or meditation. Oh. If you do not have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you're on your way. Now I feel like here, this is about opening up your heart center. So I feel that you've got a little closed down from this past situation. And I feel very strongly this is some sort of karmic energy that you've had to work through. So I want to say to you, it's really, really important for you to uh, work on your heart chakra. Now the person you're dealing with here is coming up as a vulture. So let's have a look at what the vulture says. Okay, so this is essential for rebalance. Um, this is about balancing out the ecosystem okay so you're trying to bring something into balance here so your person is trying to bring something into balance okay so i'm feeling here with the heart chakra that you have out of balance and your person trying to bring something into balance there's some sort of situation coming in for you here that you need to be readily balanced for and that's why at the beginning of the reading it was really strong that the universe was saying to you you need to get back into balance before you move on to the new situation so remember there is healing time here between what you're leaving behind and what you're moving towards so if it's new love you want or a new relationship that you're going after here even if you haven't got something in your sight remember that there has been some really erratic energy coming through with the tower and i feel like whatever you're moving towards you need to be back in balance before this new relationship can really take flight in other words don't take the baggage of the previous relationship with you I feel like with that tower energy, you've had a lot of toxic energy to work through. So make sure that you are purified and ready to move into the next energy. All right, I will leave you with that. Very beautiful reading. Thank you.